Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you're having a great summer. Um, so I thought today we would do a little vlog about my summer reading recommendations just stuff for the beach and, you know, just really nice chill out books and also like the only books available. First up, non-fiction and I want to recommend uh, Demagneti, I hope I'm saying that right, by William Gilbert. So it's a science text and it's all about uh, magnetism and electricity. So some really interesting stuff in there. Um, uh, not, not like a super classic beach read, um, but you know, if you like to learn, then here it is. And, uh, it's, it's what we've got. Next up, I want to talk about poetry and I want to recommend this. It is called England Telecon and it is an anthology of some of England's best up and coming poets and all the other poets as well. And, um, there's, there's no summer specific poems in here, but you know, there's a couple of mentions of, of trees and things um slim pickings and there is a beach ball on the cover so i'm counting it and of course as always i'm doing an honorary shout out for the playwrights um some great stuff out this summer if you can't get to london to see them you can always read them instead okay uh some classics out there shakespeare very prolific this year this guy's can't be stopped he's like jeffrey archer um we've got much to do about nothing we've got one of the henry's is out uh midsummer night's dream check them out and of course you can always go back to the classics, the Bible. I always reread the Bible every summer um, and winter and autumn and spring. Uh, there's not really a lot else to uh, to read and we kind of have to. But yeah, reading it always just reminds me of lying on a beach with uh, no other options. So there you go, my top three summer reads. Um, enjoy, assuming of course that you can read. God, I hope someone else writes something soon.